A couple of weeks ago, I needed to get somewhere with my cart, and uh, unfortunately, my wife had run off with the keys, and I didn't have the one for the golf cart. So I had to figure out real fast how to start it without a key. Let me show you how. The first method I'm going to try is using a key that is not meant for the golf cart, but it's just a regular old key that will fit inside of it, because quite often that'll work. I have a whole pile of them here to go through, and after going through different varieties, some acceptable, some not, came up with a likely candidate. Wait a minute, here's a gas key. Let's try this. So here we'll try this one in here. Now notice the, the pins on this one can be jiggled by just about anything, but work that thing around in there. Lo and behold, there it goes. Yay! Another method for doing this is using a lock picking technique. Um, I'm gonna use a paper clip and a small screwdriver to try this one. It involves just moving the tumblers up while you're applying pressure to the cylinder and the pressure of the cylinder keeps the pin in place when it reaches a spot that it, it likes. That is quite often on these simple locks all you need. There it is. Method three is a little more destructive. It involves uh, splicing a couple of wires together. Now, some of the other sites have incorrectly said that you touch the wires together until the engine starts. That means they probably cut and paste from a how to hot wire your car article. I believe anybody that's familiar with golf carts know you don't turn the engine over by turning this key. That merely turns the power on. This is what starts the car. This is an excerpt from the manual for the uh, club car that I'm working on and the red wire is the power in and the blue wire is the uh, power to the solenoid. So what I've done is I've taken the switch out of the dashboard so you can see the back of it. I wouldn't jump for this one here normally because this was a pain in the behind to get out. I'll probably go through jumping the wires after the cable harness has made it all the way into the engine compartment. These are the blue and red wires that we're talking about. So this blue wire here would be stripped back and jumpered with the red wire. This one. That would turn the power on. Let's show you. Since I'm going to be making this temporary, I'm gonna just take a small pin like this and pierce right through both of the wires. First, I'll go through that wire, and then I'll go through the blue wire. And that's it for today's video. See you next time.